Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my daily diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the book of Job, chapter 8. Then answered Bildad the Shuhite and said, How long wilt thou speak these things? And how long shall the words of thy mouth be like a strong wind? Doth God pervert judgment? Or doth the Almighty pervert justice? If thy children have sinned against him, and he hath cast them away for their transgression, if thou wouldest seek unto God betimes, and make thy supplication to the Almighty, if thou wert pure and upright, surely now he would awake for thee, and make the habitation of thy righteousness prosperous. Thou, thy beginning, though thy beginnings were small, yet thy, thy latter end should greatly increase. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age, and prepare thyself to the search of their fathers. For we are but of yesterday, and know nothing, because our days upon earth are a shadow. Shall not they teach thee, and tell thee the utter words out of their heart, can the rush grow up without mire? Can the flag grow without water? Whilst it is yet in his greenness, and not cut down, it withereth before any other herb. So are the paths of all that forget God, and the hypocrite's hope shall perish, whose hope shall be cut off, and whose trust shall be a spider's web. He shall lean upon his house, but it shall not stand. He shall hold it fast, but it shall not endure. He is green before the sun, and his branch shooteth forth in his garden. His roots are wrapped upon the heap, and seeth the place of stones. If he destroy him from his place, then it shall deny him, saying, I have not seen thee. Behold, this is the joy of his way, and out of the earth shall others grow. Behold, God will not cast away a perfect man, neither will he help the evil doers, till he fill thy mouth with laughing and thy lips with rejoicing. They that hate thee shall be clothed with shame, and the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to naught. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So one of the most beautiful uh, verses from what Bildad the Shuhite responds back to Job is Bildad says here, Can the rush grow up without mire? Can the flag grow without water? Whilst it is yet in his greenness and not cut down, it withereth before any other herb. Why? Bildad is going to explain. So are the paths of all that forget God. Or he's, excuse me, he's relating it to this idea. So are the paths of all that forget God. And the hypocrite's hope shall perish, whose hope shall be cut off, and whose trust shall be a spider's web. He shall lean upon his house, but it shall not stand. He shall hold it fast, but it shall not endure. And then later on in Job 8.20, Bildad says, Behold, God will not cast away a perfect man, neither will he help the evildoers. And that's one of the, the powerful verses from this chapter, is because we know that earlier in the book of Job, Job has been described as a perfect man. And so that this is Bildad, though Bildad doesn't know that God himself views Job as a perfect man. If we recall the scripture here, All the way from Job 1 8, the verse reads, And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? So the idea here being that God actually views Job as perfect. So that's the first thing. God views Job as perfect. And now the second thing is, Bildad, in, though, though Job doesn't know it, Bildad saying, God will not cast away a perfect man. So what is Bildad saying? God, he doesn't know he's saying it. But of course, you, you put two and two together. 
that God will not cast away Job. That's the idea. And then it reads here, God, uh, so God will not cast away a perfect man, neither will he help the evildoers. Think about what he says. God will not cast away the good, but and he will not help the bad. Very powerful stuff there about the Lord thy God. And actually, that's where I'll go ahead and end the Bible analysis there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I worked at my core. I uploaded and scheduled five workout videos. I uploaded and scheduled many video game videos. And I have created this Daily Dive video for 5, 14, 23. With the remainder of the time in this video, I want to discuss something that I've been focusing on in my life, which is isolating myself more in my, you know, my, my own life. And so here's what I mean. Um, I, I've just been like not watching, like I, I haven't had social media in years, so I don't have like, I don't have anything like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you know, anything. I don't have anything, no kind of social media whatsoever. And that's not because I inherently think social media is bad. It's because I know for myself that social media the people that you meet on social media are not your friends. Um, I often talk about this, that um, the idea being, how many people could you count on not lend you money? Because the bank will lend you money. How many people would give you one month's rent if you asked? Give you, free of charge, and they wouldn't ask you anything. I only have two people in the world that I, that I know love me here on earth, which are my parents. And I'm very grateful to them. And I write about how much they meant to me in chapter 14 of my gospel because I talk about how when I finally got a career level job, I cried all that day with my parents because a mango tree cannot give gooseberries. And so that's why I say now that the idea being how many people will be there for me? Well, nobody in the world will be there for me. And if you're watching this, um, and you're not one of my direct descendants, then that's not a criticism that those people are bad. And most certainly, many of those people are from heaven. They are from heaven. It's that they have to take care of their own families, and that's actually the correct thing to do. Lord Jesus Christ teaches, Thou hypocrite, first clean out the beam of thine own eye. And that's correct. First, you've got to take care of your own life. Now, I say that because the troubles of the world are not going to help me advance naranjalism. You know, um, for example, right uh, today, um, you know, as of today, I believe they're still fighting a war in Ukraine. They most certainly are. I've only been like not reading CNN or like news online for like a week or two. But um, yeah, they're fighting a war in Ukraine. Reading about that war, immersing myself in what's happening in that war is interesting and it helps me from like learn history, but it won't help me advance naranjalicism. All that will help me advance naranjalicism is work and prayer and sleep. Day over day over day over day for the next 30 years and I'll be prepared to start a dynasty of men. And that is the goal. And so that's why I've been pulling away from the outside world that much more because of the fact that, um, you know, when we talk about the value of belief, like self-confidence that I write about in, in the Gospel according to Lord Aaron White, chapter eight, I talk about that because of the fact that the results that I'm looking for, when I look, you know, when I look at, you know, not just history, but also believing in myself. I want my own results. You know, I, it's not that I can't learn things from other people. It's that if I need to learn, I can go look online and learn. It's ultimately that I believe in myself that I have the wisdom to not only know right from wrong, that as Job is described, I both fear God and I eschew evil. And I also believe very greatly in myself as the Spirit of God that I can achieve and manifest the goals I want, not by listening to the outside world, but by listening to myself, by listening to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So that's why I'm doubling down on trying to pull away from the world a little bit more in terms of my own mind, because of the fact that in the world, Jesus says, in the world you shall have tribulations, but in Christ you shall have peace. And that's what I find to be true, and to God be the glory. So with that, I would now go ahead and I would like to end this Daily Dive video there for today. So I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Light to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.